What's going on guys, your boy Terabyte Reacts here and we are back with another Attack on Titan reaction. Um, we are here today to do 17 through 19. Depends on how it's going because, um, depends on how it's going. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do three episodes. I'm going to do three episodes, 17 through 19. Let's just get into it, man. Last three episodes was really dope. Uh, more story development, more than anything. Lots of dialogue to talk about. Um, the the hokey doll from the uh, um from from him being court martialed, um, and Levi and Commander Irwin save him, saving him. I keep saying Irwin. Jesus, man, Irwin, man. Yeah, so I'm super excited to jump into these next three episodes. Somebody told me, oh, these three episodes are going to be fire, these next three episodes. So I'm ready for it. Okay, so thank you guys for tuning in once again. I've put out a video on YouTube, guys. I want you guys to go check out that video. Um, the last two update videos that I did, if you want, you can watch the last. The one that I really want you guys to watch is the, um, the one that says full reactions or or highlights highlights or full reactions it's a general question for you guys to answer because i got a concerned subscriber i would say um that says they prefer highlights over full reactions they have no interest in watching the show all over again um with me so i had to put it out there to the community um because it really it it bothered me a little you know what i'm saying it bothered me a little because I really don't want to be doing something that I maybe maybe there's others that think that I should do highlights, but they're not saying anything. You get what I'm saying? Like they're just watching it, maybe fast forward into the parts that I that they think they would get a reaction out of me or something like that. Like I don't want it to be like that. I don't want to be wasting my time putting up doing putting up content that you guys are not enjoying. So let me know so I can have a consensus um, so I can differentiate the majority from the minority. Maybe I can do some cut up action for those people who don't want to watch a full reaction. Then I can just maybe do some editing, maybe do a little bit, of, maybe do a little bit of editing and just do some highlights, maybe some three, four minutes highlights of me reacting and just upload that. They can go watch that and who enjoy the full reactions can go watch the full reactions, okay? Even though it's more work, you get what I'm saying? But I'm here for us to be a community, for all of us to be enjoying the content and understanding the content of what it is. And you guys already know that I'm willing to go above and beyond to make sure that you guys are comfortable on this channel and be able to en enjoy the content, okay? So... Let me know because I, I don't want to misunderstand my my quote unquote sub, um, fans, subscribers, right? I don't want to misunderstand you guys. Like, I don't want you guys to be not be enjoying something and not tell me. You get what I'm saying? Like, it doesn't it doesn't bother me to the point where I'm it's keeping me up at night or anything like that. It's just that I want to understand the community. It's just like being in a business relationship just like how um i have a business i have to understand my customers i have to understand their concerns because that's how growth happens right that's how you grow in business so i'm treating this just like a business relationship but also i want us to be a community uh, a family if you want to go that far whereas in everybody's opinion matter and that's how we do okay so in the last three episodes last three episodes was pretty dope in attack on titan i loved it i loved it loved it very much now they're on their way to get to that basement and also how they're gonna get there they're gonna use Eren somehow i know it so we're gonna get to see some more um Aaron in Titan form action. I'm looking forward to it if that's what it is. Maybe not. Maybe we're going to get to see the Colossal or the Armor Titan again. I don't know. Um, so I'm definitely looking forward to see what the Survey Corps can do outside of these walls, man. That's really what I'm really excited about. Now we got Mikasa on there. We got 
we got Jean or John, John, if you want to call him John, John, right? You have, right, you got John, you got Mikasa, we got, um, what's his name, Armin, we got all these new guys that come in now. Now they got to go to the, um, the real, real, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They got to go through the whole regiment of learning how to be outside and all of this other stuff. So that was great to see. So let's go jump into these three episodes, man. I will see you guys back here for the root. Thanks for listening. It's your boy. See you for the review. Remember, link is down in the description. Go click that link and we're, and I'll see you back for the review. All right, so we are back again with another review, episode 17 through 19 of Attack on Titan Season 1. And this anime continues to surprise me. It continues to surprise me. As I was saying at the end of the video, it's just, it gets better and better. The the animation, I'm, you know what I'm saying? I've seen anime do, do this before where it just gets so much better and better over time you know what i'm saying timeless time th this is an instant classic in my books it becomes an instant classic because of how it is done the music the animation the voice acting everything is on point so far as i said every episode so far in this anime is 10 out of 10 no doubt about it um you know you know as a continuing continuing um the, the 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 anime right as a continuance the anime does a very good job of throwing things at you at a in a surprise element and also hiding things from you that you might have theories about right and right now my theory right now and it, it just it's bugging the hell out of me as you can see in the episode i had to go back a couple of times to see what was really happening okay that scene where the female titan held reiner in her hand crushed him you saw it it was dramatic and everything it wasn't anything to miss right it was dramatic they sh they sh you see if a titan crushes you in their arms right if you get crushed and i see blood I see blood. There was a lot of blood when it happened, right? There was a lot of blood when it happened. So for me, me looking at that, I'm thinking Reiner is dead. You, you, you saw my reaction to that. I was like, oh, shit, not Reiner. You know what I'm saying? Because he's supposed to be dead. And then like five seconds later, he cuts his way out of the hand. He runs to go pick up Armin when he lands, right? He runs to go pick up Armin. And then while he was running, when he had Armin and talking with Armin in his hand, you saw steam coming off of him. Now, I preface this by saying, right? I'm prefacing this by saying earlier in one of the episodes somebody commented on one of my videos because i tell you guys i pay attention to comments and that's the reason why i have my moderators now if my moderators thought it wasn't a, it was a um spoiler of some sort i think they would have deleted it. i don't think it's a spoiler right um the steam that comes off of people when they're a human that turns into a titan i'm sitting up because i want to explain this very well because i don't want you guys to think anything bad of this subscriber okay because i know you guys are going to probably go look up the comment right so basically what they told me is that they were signs in earlier episodes right off the fact that aaron turned into titan. i wasn't even thinking about this i wasn't even thinking about oh you know, this steam that comes off of the Titans is one of the signs other than the yellow lightning. So this person was telling me this based on the fact that when we found out, I think it was in episode eight, when we found out that Aaron actually, when he emerged from the Titan, right? So the person said to me, 
um, he made a comment telling me that earlier in one of the episodes, in one of the earlier episodes, um, when Aaron got hit over his head or something like that, I don't remember exactly the scene, right? But I did go back and check out a couple of episodes based on this comment because um, I don't remember if it's the same person or a different person that told me that I missed because I was saying, when did Aaron get these Titan powers? When did this injection happen? You know what I'm saying? Like the timeline, I don't, I never saw that. And the person said, there was a flash, there was a flashback. It was quick, right? It was a very quick flashback that showed when this happened. And I'm like, I must have totally missed that. And I went back, watched a couple ep earlier episodes and I saw that I did miss it. I don't remember. It was, it was like last week that I watched it. So I don't exactly remember which episode, but I know I did see it. Okay. So based on that, that's the reason why I have this assumption now about the steam, the healing properties that when they are healing, you have this steam that comes off of these people, right? And it's a healing property of, of those that are human that can turn into Titans, right? So that's why I was saying it looks kind of fishy. Maybe Reiner is a Titan. Maybe, I mean, maybe Reiner can turn into a Titan, not he is a Titan. He can turn into a Titan, right? So I don't know. It's still confusing because yet again, it could be just the blood evaporating because that's also a property of the blood of Titans. When the blood is on them, it evaporates and there's steam. So it could just be that because he, of course, if he cuts the Titan's hand, must be a lot of blood from the Titan on him evaporating. So I'm going to chalk it up to that for now, but it's still bugging me. I'm, as I said, I'm keeping my heart, my eye on Reiner because it kind of doesn't make sense for him to be a Titan anyways, because he's been there this whole time. You know what I'm saying? And He's been there this whole time. There was never any time when he was missing and the and the armored and the and and the colossal showed up. So I don't know. And those are the only two unless he he's a different Titan. Unless he's a different Titan. So I don't know. I don't know. So but as I said, I'm keeping my eye on him because of what just happened. I'm just keeping my eye on him. Um so as I said, I know they are people that can turn into Titans now. And I know that the Colossal and the Armored Titan are humans that could turn into Titan based on what is going on in the anime right now. So I have a feeling that it's got to be somebody that's in there because it's not somebody running up to the wall all the time and they're not seeing. You get what I'm saying? Even though they're pretty high up on the wall, they might not see somebody running up to the gate and transform. But is there really humans living beyond the gate? I don't think so. Not that we know about. It seems like it's just Titans out there. You get what I'm saying? Unless it's somebody in still it not making no damn sense. Even if it's somebody from the Survey Corps, I think somebody would know. You get what I'm saying? So it's got I'm, I'm thinking maybe it's one of the regular citizens or some of the regular citizens. I don't know what. Let me not confuse myself because now I'm starting to confuse myself. But these three episodes was pretty awesome. I love them. I definitely, 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 definitely love these three episodes. The animation was on point. Everything was just on point. This, I didn't like the fact that they named that um, episode 17 the female Titan. Like, you, you get what I'm saying? Like, it, it, it was too on the nose. It would have been nice to find out that there's a female Titan and you're like, oh shit, it's female Titan because they've never seen one before. There's never, this is the first time we have we are seeing a female Titan. So, because they've mentioned it before in earlier episodes, like, there's never any female Titans, you know, with a big booty and ass. So... <laughs> So there's, there was never any. So it would have been surprising to see a female Titan, but they named the episode the female Titan, which is something that 
you know subscribers have warned me about is like dude they named that um the titles of certain episodes will spoil some of the, some of the stuff for you um so maybe i need to start but that would mean i have to skip the opening so you know what i'm saying so i don't i, I don't really want to do that you know what i'm saying like i don't want to do that because i usually look up i usually after the um when i'm setting up the videos to put on youtube i you i usually um go look at the title because i usually put the title of the episode in the in the description so that's is after the fact so um when it comes on to seeing it they show the title right after the opening so it's kind of, it's going to be hard to avoid that and watch the opening also so i don't know i still want to watch the opening um, because I know I enjoy it, you guys enjoy it, but I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Like, am I going to ignore it, maybe turn my head away, shut my eyes, whatever the situation is, just to avoid that title so I don't get spoiled by the title? Because that was definitely a bit, it's not a major spoiler, but it was a little bit of a spoiler, um, knowing that there was going to be a female titan in the episode introduced. So, um, so yeah definitely i liked how i'm still a little bit confused about what happens when aaron turns okay he needs an objective and he also needs to um inflict um self-injury so i don't know i don't I, I don't know if there's something else to it now because maybe there is something else to it because they're saying okay so so he can just turn you know as long as he has an objective is it because because he didn't hurt himself D D did he hurt himself while he was trying to pick up the spoon or maybe it's because he already bit himself or he was already injured why he transformed i don't know but um but but that's pretty good information to know that he has to have an objective he can't just be like okay um titan time <laughs> you know what i'm saying like he can't just do that so that's good to know um also levi is a boss um, I really do feel like the signal to Commander Irwin, I think the signal came from that sound um, thing that he fired from the flare gun. I think, yeah, I really do believe that that's, that's what signal Commander Irwin that something is going on. It's a special. It doesn't seem like anybody else has it, right? And then the wagons that went in after Commander Heron, now we... F figure figure out what was on the damn wagon is all these spears and stuff that they use to capture titans so they use that on the female titan and now she can't move but she is protecting her neck so i don't know but that was pretty dope but i know whoever is in there is probably shitting themselves right now because they can't move <laughs> so um so that was pretty cool um also as i said there's gotta be because during the episode i was saying there's gotta be something going on up ahead why he's just going forward like that because it it just didn't fit his personality because usually i think he would have been like let's fight because we can't it's obvious um what's going on he's after or they're after Aaron, or they you know what i'm saying are they trying to take us all out we need to fight plus Plus, people are dying. They're fighting. And you know what I'm saying? So there has to be something that they were heading towards. And that's why I was saying it has to be a trap. Till I started to disbelieve it. I Because at one point I was saying, okay, I guess there's not a trap. Because he started to talk to Aaron and be like, trust us. And he's like, you know what I mean? So I was like, um, are you waiting till you get to a specific point in the forest to start fighting? Is that it? No matter the sacrifice? what is it so it was revealed that it was actually a trap so um so yeah female titan is is basically captured i don't know what they're planning to do if they're going to try to cut the person out um i'm pretty sure they could cut her arms off you know i'm pretty sure that they could just cut her arms off and the neck will be the the nape of the neck will be revealed so i'm looking forward to it man this this anime as i said it keeps surprising me how good it gets over time so thank you guys for watching as always um as i said man 10 out of 10 for this episode hands down 10 out of 10 for for, for these three episodes um um sound design voice acting um 
and also the animation was extremely on point 10 out of 10 thank you guys for watching man as always thank you guys for checking out the review um and if you have not subscribed to the channel subscribe now leave a like on this video and also leave a comment in the comment section let tell me if do not tell me please if reiner is a titan do not put the shit down in the comment section please please okay if he is, do not tell me. But I am keeping my eye on him. So if he is, don't tell me he's a Titan, please. Don't tell me. I want to find out how the hell is he a Titan. He always a freaking around. Anyways, as I said, it's just a growing, it's just a, a theory of mine right now. I don't, I'm not 100% sure he is because I've never seen him actually do it. We don't know who the hell these Titans are. So... I have to come up with some sort of theories as I go along and I have to talk about them because, you know what I'm saying? So I don't want anybody to tell me if he is or if he's not. That's not what I'm asking. It is not a question, guys. It's just um, what I'm seeing and what I'm observing. That's what I'm going after. Okay? So... Thank you guys for watching. As always, leave a comment in the comment section. Tell me what you think of these three episodes as we move forward in this anime. Um, I think I'll probably wrap up season one in the next reaction. I'm, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I might just do a super reaction of those six episodes and just finish up season one. It's not a promise, but it, it's a probability, right? So... I will see you guys for the next reaction. Thank you guys. Thank you, Terror Squad. It's your boy, Terror by Reacts, and peace.